Hi everyone, this is an iPad Pro. I've owned it for two years. It's probably my favorite creative and productive tool that I own. Are you looking at getting one? Are you an avid user? Either way, I wanna share with you today a list of the best productive and creative iOS apps that make the iPad well worth owning. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Simon and on Better Creating, I'm finding ways to simplify productivity and creative life. So let's dive into this collection of great apps that I've broken down into four categories, notes and note-taking, reading and knowledge, productivity and time management, and finally, creating and creativity. Good Notes 5 is definitely my go-to note-taking app for managing projects, uh, planning ideas. It focuses on handwriting on the iPad and it's amazing what you can do with it. Uh, it includes drawing, inserting images and building really beautiful annotated workflows. I love that you can create folders, notebooks and page designs that best organise and suit each area of your work. So if you want to turn your iPad into a digital notebook, this is the app to try first. Drafts, as my mum from the north of England would say, is a beautiful note-taking app that keeps things simple, clean, and supports a great widget in the iOS that really is useful for quick use. It's a keyboard-based app, and I love it for writing videos and uh, in a clear, minimal space that helps me focus. And well, let's not write off the excellent Native Notes app. It has the huge advantage of being a native to the Apple system, syncing across your devices, and being even able to quick tap on a locked screen with an Apple Pencil to access it for a quick note. Nice. Now we will talk a little bit about Notion later on. You know I love it if you know the channel. And I might be biased, but I do want to just say that my Notion Second Brain's productivity templates are definitely one of those apps that make the iPad worth having. It's my channel, what, I'm allowed to. Uh, check them out via the link in the description and simplify how you get things done. Let's talk about reading and knowledge. Highlights is a great little app that helps you highlight PDF documents and it's a very helpful platform for quoting from research documents or readings. I can see this being super useful for students or content creators, researchers alike, wanting to gather great ideas and then feed them into other outputs. The iPad is still the perfect platform to consume content and do research, meaning we need to mention Kindle. I love combining the Kindle app on iPad with Readwise and Notion to capture quotes and references into my Notion second brain that I've built within my template. Having it all in one portable device is, as too many YouTubers say, a game changer. I really shouldn't be saying that. It's just very good. To that end, don't write off Apple's native app books. I mean, why would you? It's very usable to highlight readings uh, with the added bonus of helping you export all the quotations that you have from one book, making it a great manual way to capture ideas and knowledge. Good Links is a great app if you want to store links that you don't have time to read at that moment and you want to return to them in the future. And Short Form is my go-to summary app with a great selection of productivity and mindset books that have had a big impact on the thinking behind the content on this channel. Whilst book summaries are not replacements for reading the whole thing, you can't get away with it. They are super useful to recap ideas and indeed feed learning back into my own writing on these videos. More on Short Form in a future video. Take a minute to tap on your iPad or wherever you are and hit the like button, it goes a long way to help this channel. One of my favorite new productivity and time management apps is Minimalist, a simple layout like this to just create simple task lists with intuitive swipe functions. And one of my favorite tools that they surprisingly have in there is a counter to use for the Pomodoro technique, 25 minutes of work on a subject. And when you finish and say it's complete, it ticks off the task. It's got a great widget function, again, to keep your iPad looking clean. Check it out. Now, Todoist is another great interface for managing your tasks. One of the great advantages it holds is that it has an optimized UI for iOS. It's super smooth and useful to use across devices. I love the way I can input tasks using natural language and it will format those into a, a simple entry. It has all the features a good task management system should have, 
quick capture, uh, project and priority sorting, and effectively shares the right information with you when you need it. It's also good at helping groups or teams manage tasks together with a nice delegating function. If you want to go a step further, Fantastical looks excellent to combine a similar set of functions with an events calendar, but comes at a premium. So the widget support is super pleasing uh, for iOS and also supports natural language input. I mean, it won app of the year, Mac app of the year 2020. So it could be worth a look at if you're investing in your iPad setup as your number one priority device. It works with all the usual calendar platforms. Well, you know it, it wouldn't be a better creating video without mentioning Notion, and this is no exception. Notion on iPad does remain a daily driver for my work, and I love the widget function to create quick buttons uh, to link to your key pages, turning the iPad essentially into a Notion interface. I've optimized my Notion workspace designs for use on both desktop and iOS by designing layouts that will be working in both situations. You can pretty much build whatever you want. And so if you haven't invested into an all-in-one productivity system, Notion might be the one for you. And maybe my templates can be a great place to get you started. Getting creative and making content on an iPad is an absolute joy, particularly using the Apple Pencil and some of the amazing apps designed specifically for it. My favorite as a YouTuber is LumaFusion. It remains an amazing editing software, very similar to Final Cut Pro, but in a touch form. Essentially, it's the best video editing app on the iPad, full stop. Don't use anything else. It's amazing. You can edit multiple 4K video streams without any trouble. I've edited every video on this channel on it so far. Let's see though if that new MacBook Pro with M1 Max chip in it moves me finally across to the laptop team. Then for me, Procreate is amazing for drawing and painting, Canva and Photoshop mix for social media design, Lightroom and Affinity Photo for picture editing and even making video LUTs. But let's just take a breath and simply say, if you want to see my full collection of the best iPad apps for creators and creating particularly on YouTube, click on this video next. Make sure to let me know in the comments your favorite iPad apps and the ones that I've missed here. It would be awesome if you subscribed. It would be great if you liked this video and I would love to see you on the next one. Bye.